Hi all. In my today's video class, I'll talk about uh, the new uh, templating language called Cytly. So, Cytly is a preferred templating language to create your um, components on the AM-based applications. So, as you can see, um, you can get more detail on Cytly here on this Adobe site. Okay, so to get started, I have already created a sample project in my uh, local machine. My server is running on 4502, and uh, my it's a typical OVJ, sorry, um, CQ5 or AEM application structure where you have content, uh, where are all all component and templates script will be uh, kept, and similarly, I have a bundle project where we have our uh, java related uh, codes or bundles OEJ bundles will be kept here okay so in this video i'll just show you the simple uh, creating a simple component with uh, slightly uh, so to make sure that you have included slightly in your project you have to add a dependency so this is the dependency I'm talking about. The artifact ID is AMAPI version number is version is 6.0.0.1. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, now as you can see, I have uh, created several components. So one component is this title, and uh, if I open this, now slightly moreover inherits the JSTL syntax with dollar symbol and the curly process here so uh, if, you, if I open my dialog I have a text field uh, where I am storing a title property in the in the node and I am just I am just going to read that so the simplest part is uh, through JSTL uh, expression language we have properties for the field name the title which will give me the title um, stored and slightly has introduced a new syntax so this is the or syntax and what it does if you don't have the property called title then a default value will be displayed in the browser or it will be returned in the component similarly i have something else here so uh, slightly has introduced several block statements uh, i'm going to talk through that um, in my later videos uh, so data SL by use is uh, used to invoke a slightly use bin. So slightly use bins have been introduced as a backing bins so that uh, we can we can uh, invoke any uh, business logic or we can have a business logic in the backend and can invoke them from slightly scripts. So title use is a, um, a slightly bin for me and what i'm going to do is so this is the um, use class which extends the wcms use and it has an activate method so what it does each time a component is called this activate method will be called and it has a um, get method so what i'm doing is i'm just trying to get the property by name title and if it doesn't have anything so i'm just simply using no title and just making it to uppercase and in get title method I'm just returning the title okay and um, this what this is the HTML5 output tag and simple simply I'm doing that I use this is the identifier and it has this title use has a um, method called get title so through that I'm just accessing the title property okay let's see that in action so I am I have already configured this so if you can see um, so let's clear this so what I am doing is no title with use bin so no title uh, okay so here since I have not configured anything it comes up here no title and similarly in my bin also and the default is no title and it's uppercase so this is what is coming from bin and this is from the uh, site list uh, 
go back and enter something. Okay, now this is what. So this is a basic example of um, creating component uh, through Sightly. I'll talk through uh, more uh, the more features of Sightly, the more data block element. So how do we use them? Uh, so basically, if you have seen my script name, it's title.html. So when you are writing a script um, or you want to execute a script in Sightly, um, you have to name the script with the .html extension or .sly extension. Uh, .jsp will not be um, the by default will not be executed by Sightly engine. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, data blocks elements um, are available. Uh, I'm going to go through that uh, one by one.